Find me through my two step. Today's adventure takes us to the Mineral Mountain Range in Beaver and Millard County in Utah, a 28 mile long mountain range. Our first stop takes us to Roosevelt Hot Springs and Mag's Brothel. They're about 11 miles northeast of the town of Milford. Here's one of the remnants of Mag's Brothel. Back in the 1870s, this was a booming place for miners and settlers and people passing through. They could stop in and pick up supplies. Obviously it was a working brothel. They also had swimming pools, which all varied in temperature depending on the geothermal system in place. The geothermal systems in the area are still very active. There's actually many geothermal plants that are uh, active right now that are supplying power within the area. As you walk around, you can see some of these old swimming pools. Here's a structure right here. This is an old swimming pool that was heated from groundwater. You can see a lot of the structures are still there, or at least the footings are. This was a really neat place. People came from all around the area to bathe in the swimming pools, get supplies, and more. As you walk around, you'll still see spots that are steaming because it's a very active geothermal area. A lot of the structures and the foundations are still fairly intact and have been well maintained. Here you can see a big boulder they put in. It looks as if they used it to get in and out of the swimming pool. There are some old pipes that flow into the swimming pool. And this hot water is what kept it heated year round. So I'd imagine when it was nice and cold, this was a happening place for people to come and get warm and dip in these swimming pools. The scenery out here is really cool. You do not need a four wheel drive to get out here either. It's a fairly simple, straightforward ride. You could do it in any SUV. Here is the geothermal area that is still very active. You can see it is bubbling and boiling. The smell of sulfur and the steam coming out of the ground. It is still very much active. This whole area is about 11 miles northeast of the town of Milford in Beaver County. As we continue making our way throughout the trail, we are headed to the Rock Cabin. This is a pretty neat little area that has quite a history. There's a lot of speculation as to what the Rock Cabin is, what it was used for, who built it, and the whole works. One of the stories is that a moonshiner found the, found the area, carved out a home within the rock, and used it as a hideout to make moonshine to supply Mag's brothel. It's also known as the Flintstone House, Chocolate Chip House. It is a really neat structure built right into the rock. Unfortunately, a fire back in 2007 burned the whole area and wiped out a lot of the structure. As you can see, it's fairly charred. A lot of the inside still remains. The back was flooded because of all the fire that ate up all the vegetation and allowed the area to flood. It, this is a really neat area. It's definitely worth stopping and taking a look at. As you can see, it's just built right into a big rock. This is an old barrel poking out the side of the rock. There's a lot of speculation as to what it's for, but we thought that maybe they hung a bucket on it and collected water that fell off the rooftop. As always, be really careful in these areas, leave no trace, keep them pristine, and have a blast. Thank you for watching the latest episode of UTVology. Our goal is to highlight and showcase unique riding and exploring areas that you may not otherwise know existed. As always, please be sure to... Make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more lit content! Follow me through my two-step.